Hi, my name is Sally White, and I am the Dean of Fine Arts at this very special school, Chattanooga High School Center for Creative Arts. I'm so proud to show this school up. Normally, it's my pleasure to take large groups of people on tours through our building, and we look at all the arts classes and some of our academic classrooms, and really try to give people a sense of what's so special about this place. And this year, due to the pandemic, that's just not safe. So we have put together a very special video with the help of one of our special CCA families and lots of our staffers and students just to try to show you a little bit about the magic of CCA. CCA is a magnet school in the Hamilton County School District. We serve students in grades six through 12 in a variety of specific arts majors. Visual art, vocal music, technical theater, acting, musical theater, instrumental music, creative writing, and dance. Hello, my name is Chase Lowry, and I'm a senior here at CCA, and I'm a vocal major. You have so many more kids here who know what they want to do and they're passionate about what they want to do and it's just so much fun to walk down the hallways and see all these people who are just vibrant and flowing with creativity. My name is Nyla Williams. What I like about being an acting major at CCA is that it's very, I learn so much. Like I learn something new every day and that's what I like about it. Um, I learn how to like project and to like, like just have a be bright personality and be not afraid to do anything and take risks. My name is Maya Pound. I'm a visual art major and I'm in 12th grade. When your visual art teachers realize what you love, they want you to do the most with that. You love to do that? Great. Let me show you how you can do that the best. Let me invest in that with you. That's what's awesome about it is the teachers want you to be interested in art. They don't want you just to do well because they think doing well in art comes with loving art. Hey, I'm Chad Burnett. I'm the visual art teacher here at CCA. I teach sculpture, art fundamentals, AP visual art, graphic design. Here's our graphics lab and our uh, where we do digital photography. We actually have the largest dark room in Hamilton County, so I can show you guys that here. You'll have to squeeze through this uh, opening right here. As you can tell, we have a lot of uh, enlargers here, and we have uh, baths where we process uh, the prints, and this whole room gets totally dark, and we have ventilation, and the lights come on red, and the kids really enjoy seeing their artwork printed, you know, such a large size. Just something, something magical about seeing it come together in the dark. I'm Karen Wilson, and I'm the director of the dance department here at CCA. And I teach the ballet classes and some middle and high school intro to dance classes. And I'm Jessica Liberty Bowman, and I'm on faculty in the dance department. I teach modern uh, one and two, modern three and four. I teach the cultural styles class. I have a middle school jazz class, a high school jazz and tap class, and a repertory class called Project Motion. I want students to have the opportunity to explore their own artistic voice through choices, choreographic projects, whether that's dancing for another student's choreography or creating their own work or dancing in a piece of choreography that a professional does here at CCA. Getting yourself to get out of your comfort zone. Because if you can do that, then you can do so many things out in the world. So my name is Cody Murphy and I'm the director of musical theater here at CCA. So I direct the high school musical, the middle school musical, and I also direct the Choo Choo Kids, which is the auditioned musical theater ensemble. 
One, two, three, four. Granger, that's me in Louisiana. I get to take the three things, acting, singing, and dancing, and strip those down to their just their bare, just the bare elements, and then sort of go from there. And then and then try to you know, then you sort of build on that as you go. And that to me is just it's so amazing to watch these kids. My name is Cruz Govea. I am a senior and uh, I'm a musical theater major. My seventh grade year I took piano. From there I took music theory. I'm taking AP theory and I really got into playing the piano and it's really like kind of a magical thing because your education kind of expands not just from your academics but into new arts as well. I'm Kelly Kuhn and I teach chemistry and biology here at CCA. Uh, I have three daughters who also graduated from CCA, so I have lots of experience with the, the whole shebang. We have a class called Directing, where our acting students get to direct others and pick their own programming. We have tech programs with like light design and sound design and stagecraft and scenery. I'm Drew Champion. I'm a technical theater major and a senior at CCA. And um, what we do here in the technical theater department is we are responsible for building sets and providing crew for any and every single production that goes on here. We're learning to operate cameras and we're learning all about how to um, make scripts. And so what I'm gonna show you is I'm going to turn on the lights on the stage from here. A lot of times students are doing things at the high school level that would be far more typical in the arts at the college level. My name is Nishan Callaway. I'm the vocal music instructor. One of our biggest partners is with Raj Chattanooga. Kids have been to the Bessie Smith Cultural Center. They have performed with the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera Chorus. So a lot of experiences that high school students would normally not have. So this is Middle School Writer Studio. They are in the process of really exploring language and writing and creativity. So what they're doing exactly right now is they're actually looking at images and story starters and they're creating using plot, character, setting to really craft something to, to begin with. The city of Elgin buzzed to life as the sun finally set. The final rays of the sun radiated from the horizon as the guardian of the day made his last stand. I'm Jaden Stevenson. I'm a senior here at CCA, and I'm an instrumental major. Being an instrumental music major is so much fun because you get to come together with so many talented people and be able to play music together. Um, outside of being an instrumental major, I'm also able to play in the CCA Jazz Band, where I'm able to play with people who don't necessarily play the similar instruments to me. But we all play at such a high level, we're able to play together, it's so much fun. It is so much fun, I love it. My name is Debbie Smith and I am the principal here at Chattanooga High School Center for Creative Arts. I think through our arts program, a lot of what it teaches is discipline. It teaches focus. It teaches you to have a passion for what you're doing. And that passion resonates throughout their entire curriculum with everything that they do at school. Once you're passionate about something and you're focused, you can achieve beyond your wildest dreams. And that's what I see happens for our students day in and day out, and I can honestly say year after year. Because they're getting to do their art every day. 
that tends to spill over mm -hmm. into their academics as well. And I really feel like it builds their confidence because we challenge them and we have high expectations and they usually rise to those challenges. The academic side of CCA is very pushing. Um, it's very intensive, but there is a lot of resources here for you to be able to succeed at a higher level than um, I would normally would. Every student's going to take AP classes here. I know, I know they will achieve better once they leave here if they have the opportunity to have curriculums that are at that level. So you don't have a choice. We don't know what students are going to pursue after high school. Uh, some of them go to college and they're competitive in their arts. We have students who have become doctors and nurses and pharmacists, engineers. Because of that, we try to prepare them for the most challenging programs out there. I think we're really, really driven and we want to do really well, but I think what's so good about that is it's never competitive. Our valedictorian, for instance, she's one of the most loved people in our class and we're so proud of her and we can't wait to hear her speech. You tend to collaborate a lot and you tend to brainstorm and you tend to feed off of each other's energy. And what I found is that um, our students love science. Uh, they're curious, they love to collaborate, they love to be on teams and figuring things out. We have that creative mindset where there's more than one way to solve a problem, there's more than one way to do something, and we're always looking for another way to do it or an outside perspective or a creative approach to the things we do. Our test scores, by any metric that you pick, were either the top or the second every year. You don't get into Harvard or Yale or NYU or University of Chicago just because they like you. You have to have good test scores and you have to have good academics. And so I, I think that we compete easily with any of the schools in the system. My favorite thing about being a vocal major here at CCA is just the sense of community. And most of the classes that we attend as vocal majors are choir classes. So we're singing with a large group of people. Of course, now it's different because of the state of, that we're in. But um, we are still with a group of people that, again, are all there because they love what they're doing. And just getting to sing together and be together. And you are each on your own voice part or singing a different part of the song, but you're all still singing together in the same song and making music together. And it's just so much fun. If you come here, you're going to have unbelievable friendships. I'm going to tear up thinking about it because I, the friends that I've made here, I genuinely don't think I'll find people like them anywhere else. Um, my relationships with my teachers, they know me so well and they, from 6th grade to 12th grade, they just want to watch you keep growing. Um, and so I think you should come here for the community and you should not be worried that you're missing out on anything because what you're trading for your typical high school experience is m so much more valuable. I will miss all the teachers and staff. They are, they have just helped out so much. They do anything for their students. They're always committed and very passionate about, you know, how they're teaching, what they're teaching, and how they're communicating with their students. I always want my kids to feel like they can come and talk to me. To have that kind of a relationship with them to where if they step outside of the line, the mama in me will tell them, okay, now you know you're not doing what you're supposed to do and I'm gonna need you to get that together. So, you know, I, can't do, I couldn't do that if I didn't have a good relationship with them. I have seen kids that come in um, when they start, they're scared to stand up in front of people and speak. And then I, I look at them three or four years later and they're just, you know, it's like they're different kids and that, that to me is, is very fulfilling to see that, um, to see that growth. Um, and even if it doesn't apply to their performing, it applies to their everyday life. And to me, that's really, really special. When teachers drive you in your major and you realize how good it feels to work hard and to have the rewards of that, you want to do that everywhere else. We both really work to show the kids that there's a big world out there, whether it's the dance world or any of the arts world, and that it's really important to, to get to a different level and, and find out what's out there and take your, take your gift, take your art, and be part of it.
When I graduate, I plan to be an actress in Atlanta and do auditions and things there. I want to go to Georgia State University. I want our students to reach for the stars, and I think that's what we practice every day. I would just say do your very best. There's nothing wrong with anything you do. Just know that everything you do is really bright, and it's just who you are, and just be happy, and everyone loves you. So there should be no problems with that. You got it. <laughs> My name is Amy Medley, and I am the assistant principal at CCA. If you're interested in CCA, um, normally I would say come see us, come visit. But check us out and reach out to get more information. Everyone here is so welcoming. and We'd love to share with you what we have going on here. I've seen our school grow in population over the years, but it always, to me, has kept that small school feeling where teachers and students know each other well. And so everyone is just super, super accessible and ready to answer your questions and help in any way.